lot of anger out there recently toward Wall Street, but do Americans have any faith in the financial industry at this point? The Chicago Booth Kellogg Financial Trust Index finds that in the first quarter, Americans were less trusting of the U.S. financial system, surprise, surprise, and more willing, in fact, to walk away from underwater mortgages. Paola Sapienza co-authored the report. She's a professor of finance at the Kellogg School of Management at Northwestern University. We're pleased to have her join us now from our newsroom in Chicago. So welcome to you, Professor. So your survey finds that a, a paltry 23% of Americans trust the nation's financial system, and that's actually down 2% from the last figure. So what would you say is the number one criticism in, of the system? Well, when, when you look at the finer data, what you find out is that uh, the number that really has brought down uh, the percentage uh, are the trust toward banks. Uh, 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 you know, as you know, the, the, the financial trust index is composed of four components, the stock market, banks, mutual funds, and, uh, uh, and large corporation, and the banks are the ones that are driving down the, the trust, and especially among the banks uh, is the large uh, uh, national banks uh, that are doing that, while the uh, people tend to trust much more uh, their local community banks. Now, your survey also found a market increase in the likelihood of strategic default among homeowners, the perception that lenders won't go after these people in danger of default. I is that perception, though? I mean, it, it, could that actually be a reality, that the, the, these lenders might actually go after these borrowers? Well, we haven't heard that uh, uh, deficiency judgment, which is what the bank would do uh, when they try to go after a borrower, have increasing uh, uh, even in the so-called recourse states. Uh, so maybe that perception is not that uh, uh, incorrect. Uh, and after all, it's quite hard for banks uh, to go after some of those borrowers. So, so uh, what we find in the data, I don't think it's uh, unreasonable uh, compared to reality. Many thanks to Paolo Sapienza, a professor of finance at the Kellogg School of Management at Northwestern University.